Okay. Hello! Let me scoot over. How's it going, everybody? Good morning to you, good evening to you, wherever you may be, whatever time it is. Look, we got little Luna right here. You see her little eyeball? Oh, what a little me. Oh, I just love this little creature so much. She's so pathetic, you guys. That's why, I, that's why I love her so much. She's always slightly anxious, always a little confused. <laughs> that's why I love Luna. And that's what gives me hope that there are people that love every single one of us out there because we are all <laughs> strange and sometimes confused and a little bit anxious. And Luna reminds me that perhaps that's what makes me lovable is all of those things because that is why I love Luna so much. <laughs> Anyways, happy day to you wherever you are. Um, yeah, write me in the, com in the chat. Sorry, I'm trying to use the right lingo for... <laughs> Someone told me once, they're like, Lindsay, don't say comments. It's the chat. So, yeah, it was Mark. <laughs> it's definitely Mr. Eshelman who told me, he's like, you'll be more cool if you say chat. Wow. So. Okay. And I was like, I mean, honestly, Mark, I don't know if I can be he's more not that cool. cool himself, so you're fine. You're much cooler than my boyfriend. Oh, well, well thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to give a little tunesy up here. Yeah, okay, we got some Puerto Rico participants. We got someone from Ukraine. <laughs> I've been a bad little violinist and I've taken the last week, well I guess <laughs> the last two weeks, I've barely played. I got off tour, worked super hard on the Chris, or on the special, and then um, took a break. So, my little fingers are... some pretty music. so fast. It's such a weak little, there's not very thick muscles in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
Speaking of muscles, I'm having to try to develop my, <laughs> my strength for something that I'm going to do on the Christmas tour. Oh, Lindsay, I have been practicing, by the way, fish, I should say, fish. Uh, my assistant is over there. I have been starting to practice it. I am very weak. I, I sent um, my trainer a video and I was like, is there hope for me? And I showed her what I was doing and she's like, there's hope. There's hope. But we're going to need to work hard. And so anyways, we're doing a private lesson session with her I after this. I feel like I should train alongside you, even mm. though I'm not going to. Yes. Just so you can, you know, cry with somebody. Yes. Like, why didn't you do that during hair hanging? Ooh. Um, you know, my scalp is already a little loose. I didn't want to make it worse. So is my brain, but that didn't stop me. <laughs> Ooh. Um, you know, it's funny. I saw someone posted on Instagram just a a little clip of the hair hanging video and I was like that is so beautiful looking I was like why did I and then I'm like wait nope. a second nope don't go there no nope. don't go there Never again. but it was beautiful but it was man it was beautiful yeah. to think about doing that oh in a live show for people <gasps> there's a little hummingbird going to my hummingbird feeder oh. oh it makes me so happy I got a hummingbird feeder out there because hummingbirds remind me of my dad um, and it's like a little, it's a sign to me that my dad is near, you know, just when I see hummingbirds, it makes me think of him. It makes me feel like he's close. So I got a hummingbird feeder out there and it makes me so happy whenever a hummingbird comes. Oh, they're so fun. They are so sweet. Apparently they're very aggressive little they birds. They are. They are. When I yeah. lived over on the other, you know, over on the other side there, I, um, I had a whole colony of them outside my window and my greatest joy was sitting on my porch with my coffee in the morning watching them dive bomb each other. Because they sound like little bombs drop yeah. Oh my gosh, how funny. I, I named one um, Ernest Hummingway who lived in the tree next to my house. <laughs> Fantastic. I love that. I love it when people do that puns on like famous yeah. people's names for their pets. Like, yeah. Um, by the way, I did just add a new command. Um, it's exclamation mark Bella. So, we'll talk about why. So, Fish just added a new command, exclamation mark, Bella, B-E-L-L-A. And you can type that into the chat in order to um, see my new makeup product. Oh, and Fish has one here. I use it every day. I do, too. This is actually the only palette that I use for my eye makeup. I love it because it can be super light and natural looking. Like, I'm actually wearing just a little bit of it right now. See, look at that pretty shading. And I just put on a touch of it. Um, it's really quality makeup, and so it can either be used um, very lightly and subtly, or I use it for stage makeup as well. And I just use the darker colors, and I layer them more, and suddenly it's like very bold night look, stage makeup, all that good stuff. But it's like how pretty it is. And also, I will say, I used to think I sucked at makeup, but then I realized I actually was just using bad products. Like if you have quality products, they blend well, and if you have really crummy, dry. Like, this is super creamy. It's wonderful. It's a very, yeah. like, it's powder, but it comes on in, like, this creamy, buttery texture. Anyways, it's beautiful. Also, I mentioned this on my Instagram story yesterday, and I don't want you guys to be wary because whenever, like, I'm at the grocery store, and they're like, want to donate money to charity? And I was like, absolutely not because I don't trust what you guys are doing with it. Um, and I always want to make sure my money, if I'm donated charity, donating to a charity, goes to a good place. But anyways, all the profits... From Bella P or from my intentional beauty line, all goes to my Upside Fund charity, and that money all goes back to helping people pay medical bills. We have some really cool ideas of how we're going to use the funds this year to help and hopefully make it spread even farther to help more people with their medical bills. Um, it's something that we do throughout the year, but also we really hit it hard at Christmas. And you know, it's funny. Ever since I was a kid, I remember my mom took me to the store. Um, the grocery store and she mentioned to me we always bought Paul Newman dressing and um, you know any Paul Newman products my mom would always buy and I asked her one time like why is this the best one and she goes well I like the way it tastes she said also all of the money goes to charity Paul Newman was an actor you know back in you know he's a classic actor back in the day and he made this line of um, dressings and they're delicious but all the money goes to charity. And I remember that moment thinking, someday I would love to start like something where all the money went to charity. And so I've been working on this makeup for a while, actually a year. I started the idea during COVID last year in lockdown. And um, 
contact, I, ca I DM Bella Pierre and was like, hey, I would love to do some makeup with you. Anyways, and so all the profits from this are gonna go to charity. I'm hoping to build it out into a bigger line with like other products and make it a thing and eventually make it something that will earn quite a significant amount of money for charity. Um, and I guarantee you that every penny from the money goes to help people because um, I run it myself with my managers and so there's no overhead, which is great. Yay, you're not paying for a fancy office and Christmas parties and fundraisers. It's just literally going right back to people. So anyways, enough. Oh, and PJ Sterling Knight says, I love that dressing. Um, and uh, thank you, Zane. Zane says, well, that's really cool. And thank you, um, Natis, uh, Natty Squirrel. <laughs> Natty Squirrel, I like that. Thank you. I am very excited about it. Um, so yeah, you guys, it's great for Christmas presents. Um, also, I mean, it's also just a really fun idea. The fact that there's like crystals um, and minerals ground up into the powder that bring out inner intention. If you didn't see my video, um, I use the stone citrine, which is one of my favorite minerals. I like crystals and I love that things put into this earth, they create, they have properties to them. They have inner intentions to them. Like as Pocahontas said, everything has a life, has a spirit, has a name. And, um, <laughs> uh, but so ground up into the powder is little citrine crystals. And that, um, so, and I just love the idea that when I put on my makeup in the morning, I'm putting on an intention that, um, citrine brings out joy, confidence, intuition, creativity. And so I'm putting that onto my eyes, which is the window to the soul. Like our eyes are what brings so much of the world into our, you know, our reality. So anyways, by wearing this, you're putting an intention into your day and you're funding charity and helping people pay their medical bills, which I love. Um... Anyways, so yeah, exclamation Bella, B-E-L-L-A, will take you to where you can look at it and possibly purchase it, order it. Um, Christmas present? Yes, make a great Christmas present. It's, it would even fit in a large stocking if you need a stocking stuffer. Or I might get one for all my sisters for Christmas if I don't send it to them early. <laughs> Or 2.1, says Melina K. Okay, someone's requested sleepwalking quite a few times. So here we go. Let's let's do some sleepwalking.
Titanic. Hmm. There you go, there's some Titanic. One, four. Oh my goodness, I was um, at the Billboard Awards the year that it was, I think the 20th anniversary or something like that of Titanic, and Celine Dion sang My Heart Will Go On. It was the most beautiful thing. Oh, I love Celine Dion. What's more, you open the door. Like her voice just like, you open the door. And you'll hear someone keeps requesting the Mario theme. Um, I did a little cover of that on TikTok a while ago. <laughs> coming. I know it's still a little bit away, but um, I am going on a Christmas tour. We just announced it, gosh, almost two weeks ago. And um, we hope to see you on the road. We're planning it. We're having fun. Um, we're brainstorming the opening, how the show's going to open today. We haven't quite figured it out. So Lindsay and I are probably going to have another brainstorm session to figure that out. We have a couple of really good ideas. I thought we were on to some stuff yesterday. I ended up uh, talking with our crew on my way home. And yeah, I think we should definitely hop on a call again because they we, you know, work through a bunch of things, and I'm like, we should definitely yeah. circle back around. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm stoked. And, like, we, we have to brainstorm. Like, it's funny. I went to, by the way, I went to Derek Huff's Vegas residency this week, uh, two days ago. And I love seeing a show that is so well transitioned. And, like, shows like dance shows, um, you know, it's a little different than, like, a, 
you know, your typical band show, because a lot of times, like, shows like the Derek Huff show or dance shows or, like, Dancing with the Stars, they think of every transition like choreography every, for, between all the songs. It, you know, and even the 21 Pilot show that we went to, yeah. even though that's a rock show, like, they, you could tell they really thought about how one song melds into the other, the transitions, what the audience is going to feel like here, how we're going to get to this moment. Like, I love it when you go to a show and you can tell that everything was very thoughtful in it and that, you know, they weren't messing around. They didn't just put a set list together and go up there. Like, I like it when I talk to artists and they're like, oh, well, the set can't really be manipulated and changed because it's so, yeah. it's so, like, put together that it doesn't leave a lot of room for, um, you know, us to change it, which some people are like, but that's not, you know, like, that's not, what's the fun of a live show? But that means it's so thought out. Yeah. And it's so intentional and every detail, and every detail yeah. from like, how was the, how do we make time so that the dancers can get from this spot on the stage to that spot to the stage? How do they get there? Ooh, how do we get my violin in my hand at that moment after I've set it down? Like that's all got to be thought out. How do we make, like, what do we do while I'm changing costumes? Um, and anyway, so it's really fun and I, I just love it as an audience member when I get to go to a show and I just am like, wow, they thought out every detail. This hey, is really cool. Speaking of uh, holidays, I see some people asking about the home for the holiday. So, oh. Yeah. Um, so we were going to, <laughs> sorry, we were going to stream it again and allow it to be available, but it looks like something really cool is going to happen where I think... <sighs> Again, part of the perks of being a part of my Twitch streams is that you hear things that I'm not allowed. I well, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this or not. Probably not because it's not official yet. There's still some deal points that need to be worked out, and but I think it's going to go into certain theaters, which is really fun. So you'll be able to go to um, the movie theater and possibly see Home for the Holidays. So it's not official yet, again, um, and uh, but I'm hoping that you know. It will come through because that would be really cool and so in that case uh, we will um, probably stream it next year so anyways that's where that is but um, yeah I'm really excited I'm hoping <laughs> Even if it was just like a little um, jingle, it should have started the show. <laughs> track on the Christmas album. It was like a funky little, very, very, very different. Um, it was like a, I don't even know what to call it. It was like swing music, but done in an electronic style and sped up. It, it was interesting. <laughs> Anyways.
me in a good trance. There were some really funny comments. Let me see if I can remember them um, while I was playing. I was giggling. Um, someone said, how does, uh, Vader, how does Darth Vader like his chocolate? Can you guess? Uh, dark? On the dark side. <laughs> Yes, good job, but you got it. Wow. I thought that was funny. I wish I could remember who said that, uh, but it made me giggle while I was playing. Um, also, um, someone was asking, did I was that my voice on the little Home for the Holidays track? Yes, it was. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays, no matter how far away you go. Um, let's see. Uh, some people were saying they loved that song in the show. I did love that song in the Artemis show. It was probably like one of my favorite moments to just get, because it got, gave me a moment to like just sit there and play and look out at the audience and just like feel the show. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times I'm like sweating and I'm, <gasps> you know, even though I'm feeling the show in a very different way, I feel that from most of the show, this like really intense adrenaline, like next 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 hit it hard and that one i just get to like almost like take it in in a whole separate way and i really like that will i be doing a rock album yes i'm going to start it this month which is very exciting um and will i ever play the christmas bonus tracks in the live show i what were the other ones there was home for the holidays and i'm trying to think of any of the other ones um I don't know. <sighs> Yay, so excited for the rock album. Me too. I'm very excited to see what it turns into. Oh, I wish I had done Mary Did You Know. Um, I, yeah, it's not too late. I, I will say I tried several times to write Mary Did You Know and it just didn't quite feel right. And so I was like, I'll save it for a future year. So maybe one of these years I'll release like a single of... to do um see lots of requests for the rock album like more songs with amy lee um some would say more songs with lizzie hale or doing something with Haley williams all great ideas i mean i'm it's so funny i'm such a um i realize i have such a thing for female rock voices personally more than male rock voices I don't know why, but I just love like an epic soaring woman's voice okay. over heavy rock. I think that is so fun. Where a man's voice over heavier rock, I like guys' voices over lighter rock, but I don't know why. That's personal, personal preference. Not a blanket statement. I'm just saying usually. Um, I think it's because we are like the age where we grew up with a lot of really good female. Yes. Like Avril, just like... In our formative years, we have yes. really good female examples. Oh in that gosh, world. I love Avril so much, and I know her manager. Yes, I know. I'm like, wow. I'm gonna start. You better believe. It's funny. By the way, I see all these requests in here. It is really hard to make collaborations happen. Yeah. I don't think people realize that it's not literally like you reach out to the manager and it's like a done deal, or you reach out to the artist and it's like cool. I'm in town, you're in town. It's like so many complicated things of like finding the right song, 
finding the right time because if they're releasing music at the same time, like you can't do it. Like, and you know, if they're on tour, you can't do it. So it's just so many things. It's really hard to make collaborations work and for both artists to be happy enough with the result to then release it. A lot of times collaborations will happen, but artists aren't happy enough and so it doesn't come out. Um, medley would be so fun. Um, okay, I'm just going to practice a little bit more. I'm just going to keep um, playing some song. Um, could you play Guardian for my puppy? Sure. Does your, is that your dog's favorite song? <laughs> Why not? My dog's right there.
for those who just have joined us, hi, welcome. My name's Lindsay. Lindsay Sterling, and I'm playing the violin. I'm practicing today, just hanging out with you guys. Also, um, I am excited because we just announced a Christmas tour, so you can type exclamation tour. Is it fish? Is it? It's, yeah, exclamation tour. I can never remember if it's tour or tickets. Exclamation okay. tour into the chat. That way you can get, um, you can see dates and cities and tickets so that you can uh, come for coming to a city near you. I'm very excited. It's our Christmas tour. And also you can type exclamation Bella in the chat to check out my new makeup, which is really exciting. This is my first makeup palette ever. Um, I hope to do many more because all of the profits from this, every single penny of the profit goes to my charity, the Upside Fund to help pay for people's medical bills. So type exclamation bell into the chat. If you wanna check out, I'll show you these beautiful colors. Oh, use my one hand, my one free hand. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. They are absolutely gorgeous colors. It's such a nice palette. It goes on so smooth and creamy. Also, there's little crystals inside the powder, ground into the minerals. Um, and I use the crystal citrine. And it brings out the properties of joy and creativity and intuition and um, that blocks negative energy. And I love the thought that there could be a makeup that brings out inner beauty not just focusing on outer beauty because it's very beautiful. So look, I'm wearing it right now. It's actually the only palette I've been wearing for the last like four months because I wanted to make sure I really liked it. And so all the prototypes, I've only been wearing this in shows and um, every day and shoots. And anyways, I really like it. So I think you'll love it. Exclamation Bella, exclamation tour to see uh, tour dates. I wonder if we'll be able to sell this on tour. That would be fun. Oh. Have a little, little makeup stand. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Also be a great Christmas gift, so keep that in mind as a stocking stuffer, because I never know what to get people for Christmas. Yeah, right. And like the best thing I think to get people is a gift that's um, thoughtful. Actually, one year for the end of tour, I got all my dancers little necklaces that had little stones on them, and I got each of them a little intentional stone. And so I, I like gifts that are thoughtful, and so this, could, could be, <laughs> I think it's a very thoughtful gift, but also it just lets someone know that you think there's more to them than just like, you know, beauty or it's, it's about all the things they have, all the gifts they have. <sighs> um, okay, any other requests? Let me know what you want me to play. Then when they asked me to be on AGT, like gosh, two years ago, I went back and I performed it with a group and they asked if I could play it without the beats. They wanted it, and actually I liked the song better. We took out all the beats and we just made it this like really flowing, and I was like, I should release a version like this because it's my, I thought it was, mm, it just felt really good. And I was like, I would play this on tour this way. <clears throat> Okay, someone was asking for, there was a lot of requests just now. Um, I'll do Sugar Plum Fairy, I saw that one.
Sorry. stretching for me. Scissorhands or Nightmare Before Christmas music. Ooh, Edward Scissorhands. I'm like, I can't remember what the theme music sounds like, so let me take a... I know every time I hear it on TikTok, I feel like... So I good. I feel away. yeah. Yes, it's, it's so song. good. In a way, it's kind of like, I mean, it's like in the same world as Between Twilight. It's so yeah. beautiful. It's also one of those songs that, like, I feel like fits perfectly in half Halloween, half Christmassy, kind of. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I don't want to play it too loud. I don't want the... Oh, it's so beautiful. This is Danny Elfman. I love Danny Elfman, the composer. did some giveaways. I didn't sign the Christmas album. My bad. I'll make sure it's not how it works. Oh, so, so beautiful. Oof. Something tells me that these weren't ours to take. Oopsie. Oopsie. Yeah.
should do that. I should play that on. I should just do my makeup like Edward Scissorhands and play the theme with like big um, scissors on my hands. <laughs> to our Halloween Ooh, yeah. tour idea yeah. that we'll someday do. Okay. I was saying I should um, have, I should do my makeup like Edward Scissorhands and we should make little scissors for my hands and I should just play the theme. That's amazing, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it this next week. Um, you know, just trying to go viral on TikTok like all the kids, it's fine. That's like what I spend most... I went on a hike with um, actually an artist I love, um, oh, Bishop Briggs. I think she is so talented and so amazing and she's the sweetest human. So we met up and went on a hike the other day and it was hilarious because she's like, so what are you doing nowadays that you're off tour? Like what fills your time? And I was like, um, I was like, honestly, a lot of TikTok. <laughs> I was like, I feel weird saying that. Um, but I was like, I spent a lot of time... Uh, doing TikTok and streaming, and um, but now I'm excited. I'm getting back into more writing, and I guess planning tours. And we have fun though. We do a lot too. Yeah. Like, um, okay, I'm gonna look up Nightmare Before Christmas theme. We're probably like this is Halloween, right? That's the most. Yeah. There's also what's this? What's this? But that goes more into Christmas land. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of iconic. This is Halloween. Oh, come on, ads. Come on. Why am I still getting YouTube ads? I should get this for free. That'd be so fun. Do a Halloween. I'll do some, I'll do something. Stay tuned for TikTok. Stay tuned for next year's Halloween tour. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to try to convince my managers I should do. I was going to say, I can hear a collective groan across the city of LA. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to plant practicing. Um, speaking of Chris, or Halloween, I'll play um, the one Halloween song I have, which is Moon Trance. Al Fire says, Halloween tour! And I say, yes, I tried to convince my managers that I should do one, and they all turned me down hardcore. They were like, and my agents too, they like called me and told me why it was such a bad idea. They're like, maybe like one Halloween show, and I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense, and I just lose a ton of money on it. Because to put the rehearsals in, and the costumes in, and the, the music, like I was like, to do one show? No, you gotta do a tour. Okay. Anyways, I might, I might be able to win them over. Okay, so the one Christmas, the Halloween song I have.
Um, also, it's just been a while since I played, full disclosure. I took a little break after tour, you know, gave my, my wrists and my fingers a little break, which I don't know if that's like supposed to happen for violinists, but it's like you give your body a break as a dancer to like let it recover. And so I thought I'd let my hands recover. And mentally, I just needed a little break. So anyways, getting back in the game. Um, and people are like, wait, that's a Halloween song? Um, yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's the most Halloween song I have. I mean, it's on my first album, but I remember I released the music video around Halloween um, back in like 2013. <laughs> and um, it was always kind of intended to be a Halloween feeling song. It's supposed to sound spooky. It's, you know, we put little sounds of like, we put little Halloween noises in it. So yeah, totally a Halloween song. The video is like, yeah. yeah, the video takes place with zombies, Literally dancing zombies. zombies. Um, I realized on TikTok, I was starting to try to promote my Christmas album. TikTok told me it was way too early and shamed me publicly. It's fine. I'm just kidding. No, I just was definitely getting the feeling that people were not ready for Christmas music. That's fine. I know it's early. I, I thought I could sneak in. Lindsay, we need to promote that song. We should. Oh my let's gosh. try to make that a sound. All right. Well, let's start. Okay. Let's, let's brainstorm tonight. Um, okay. Anyways, I'm going to go back and try that again. One thing I need to practice is pizzicato. I'm not very good at pizzicato. Like my hand is like, you know, it's not very consistent. Someone's saying, uh, young, young BD is saying the lyrics they hear or that people have heard is, I'll save you, or I'll save you, or I'm, my dancers always thought it was, I see you, because I would like turn around and they'd all like look at me, so they'd all say, I see you. Um, you know, and I've done this so many times in my songs. Sometimes they're real words, like Lost Girls or like um, Stars Align has real words in them, like that I sing. But sometimes in like Artemis and um, Moon Trance, those are literally just I sing gibberish because I like almost didn't want it to have words in it. For example, in Artemis, I wanted it to sound kind of like a mystical language from this goddess, you know, so I didn't want it to be real words. And for this, I wanted it to sound just like spirits like ghosts talking almost or like a spell that's what I remember thinking almost like a, a spell being cast again very Halloween-y <laughs> Watch the little thingy. 
these and what they do. set the tempo so fast back then? Uh, I don't know. Did I set, were my songs faster back in the day? Like, what is this hair doing? What are, what were you thinking? You are supposed to be up here. There's, um, were my songs a lot faster back in the day? Some of them are, I mean, that one's pretty fast. <laughs> Of 
early music. Um, okay, zero, zero escapes. I'm gonna try to play ZZ's Journey. That one's actually a pretty tough little song to play. It has some really fast shifts in it. Not the tempo so much, just the, the shifts in it are in weird places and... <laughs> again with the one and only Chef Mako. Chef Mako. Chef Mako. Yeah, <laughs> Chef Extraordinaire Mako. So uh, it, you guys seemed to like it so much last time when we cooked. So we're going to be making some Halloween treats. Um, follow me on, oh, I didn't even post on Instagram that I was going live today. I was, okay. oops, sorry. We'll advertise the next one. Yeah. Um, but yes, Mako's coming back. I see people are excited. Mako! Um, I'll tell the Mako server. Yes, please pass the word along. Um, we're going to be making some Halloween treats. And so check my Instagram story. Um, probably a day or two before I'm going to be posting what, like, if you want to follow along this time, we'll have, uh, we'll post. It's funny. I think it'll be funny. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to post the, the ingredients that you'll need. Um, we're thinking possibly like we might make some kind of a chocolatey baking treat and then also some possibly rice krispies. Uh, Halloween theme for it's crispy. So, anyways, I love the black bean brownies. Thank you. I need so to make nice. some of those. I should make some of those for tonight. I I'm still trying to get the recipe. I want to make that chili. Let me email right now. Hold on. 
Oh, that was the best. We had the best oh. chia pudding on tour. It was so amazing. It was and in Houston, wasn't it? Sweet potato brownies. I bet that's a oh. thing. I'm going to look up a recipe for that because that sounds amazing. I love sweet potatoes okay. so much. Thank you. Those black bean brownies are bomb. One of my one of my really close friends, uh, he always makes fun of me for those black bean brownies and always tells me how gross they are. And I'm like, you're insane. Those are delicious. They're not gross. I, I don't like black beans. And those brownies are so good. They're so good. They're like extra like squishy. Oh. Good. They're not dry at all. You notice how I described the word moist without saying it? Because <laughs> so many people don't like it. I'm going to practice a little bit of my classical piece. Ooh, actually, I don't know if I dare do that. I haven't practiced in a while. I haven't played that in a while. It might be a little rough. Okay, we're going back to Lindsay songs. I had brownies with avocado. Delish. Ooh. Wow. I'm liking all this. Could you try covering... Um... Fialshi. It's always that second position part that gets me. Transcendence. That is an oldie from. That's the I third. Say, I've never heard that before. That's like the um, one of the first songs I wrote. I wrote Spontaneous Me. Then I wrote Transcendence, and then I wrote Song of the Caged Bird. So those from the very beginning days. I think it was the second music video I ever made. Wow. And yeah, one of my first YouTube clips. So there you go. Fun times. Um. <laughs> Um, I see Nana's Nonsense is back. Hi. I got to meet you during the meet and greets, which was really fun. But it wasn't until afterwards that I realized 
that was you because I saw you post on Instagram and I was like, oh, that was Nana's nonsense. I finally got to meet. So if you guys ever meet me in a meet and greet, whether it's virtual or in person, please tell me like that you are a part of my Twitch streams or part of my Discord, um, you know, and your, your, your name, your username so that I can like connect the dots because I get really excited to, you know, when I realize that you're part of this community. I see, I see this as a very special club of my you know, like there's there's like Lindsey Sterling fans, there's people that like might listen to my music, but then there's people on my Twitch streams and there's the people in my Discord and those are the people that are like, you guys are like my people. So anyways, please let me know if you meet me and you are a part of this group because I love this community that we have here and I appreciate you guys so much. By the way, I love Adaptia is just giving out all kinds of gems of um, <laughs> really good uh, puns and jokes. Why do people call early history the Dark Ages? Because it was full of knights. <laughs> just, you know, one after another. They're just coming up. I think the time, there was one day when we were, there was some kind of a pun and, and that user was just writing all kinds of puns about whatever we were talking about it. it was something where I had made a joke and then they just went off on it for a really long time. I don't remember what it was. Are you recalling? Yeah. It was I just pun it. after pun after pun about something that I had yeah. done and it was really funny, but okay, sorry. It makes me think how good a, uh, a dialogue for one of our chances ago with using puns. Ooh. Yeah, using some Christmas puns. Maybe people can give us some good Christmas puns. Yeah, give us some, hey, give us some good Christmas puns, okay? For no reason in particular. Just to spark some ideas. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play. Oh, the egg freezing they're saying. It was excellent. song. I love it. What do you think? That one or um, vote everybody. Should I play that song which is um, What Child Is This for the Christmas tour which that is an actual Christmas carol or should I play Between Twilight? Between Twilight or What Child Is This? So <laughs> I think that's a, uh, yeah. I, I love that song so much, and so instead of like thinking of a new acoustic song, maybe we just do that one. I mean, the little orchestral arrangement is so pretty. But. I 
actually, someone says a medley. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. Because they're both in 3-4. Are they in the same key? change the key of what channel yeah. this is maybe. Brown Christmas. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What other? I'm gonna play a few more songs. Any other requests? Oh my gosh, how did Darth Vader know what he got everyone for, how did Darth Vader know what everyone got for Christmas? He felt their presence. I, I like this one. What did the Christmas tree say when it was put up? Glad I can spruce this place up. That's nice. <laughs> oh, angels we've heard on high. Okay. <laughs> 
Christmas music. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Hello, and we're in the sun, and you can see mommy. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. 
My old dog, like I said, she's anxious and nervous all the time, but that's why I love her. Hey, Luna. You're so good. Yeah, it's a girl, Luna. Good girl. So cute. Okay. <laughs> or backtrack but the funnest to just play as a violinist if you're a violinist out there listening and you're thinking oh I want to learn one Lindsay songs that one's just re that's one of my favorite songs to just play it's just a fun one um favorite song is the arena okay
Oh my goodness, Offbeat Bryce, when I when will I go back and answer the questions on the Ask Lindsay channel on Discord? I will do that today. I'm sorry, I kind of fell off the bandwagon and you know I had to do so much after the tour to catch up with everything I'd missed after well being on tour. And then I just kind of shut off for like a week and a half um, to let my brain rest. So now I'm back. I am back and I will come back on there tonight and answer tons of questions. Um, yeah, if you subscribe, you not only get ads free and you don't have to watch ads on here, but also um, you get to be a part of the subs only section of the Discord. Um, I love the Discord, so I hope everybody here joins the Discord, you can type up, oh, thank you Zane, exclamation Discord to be a part of it. Um, it's just a great fan community, it's a great place for our fans um, and you know our Lindsey Sterling family to hang out and to chat and get to know each other. I loved seeing you guys meet up at concerts and just, you know, I just love seeing you guys use that fan community. But also if you subscribe, you get to be a part of the subs only section and I go there and I answer questions. And so that's kind of fun. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm going to play one last song. I'm going to play Lost Girls. As requested by Maria. Brainstorm this afternoon after my next lesson, and uh, let's get some fun TikTok. Let's film. Some, let's film two TikToks today. It out. Um, so it had that like high. Last girl. It was so high. Yeah, it's funny. Drew always looks at me at that part, and he'll go, "Lost girls." To like mouth it. Lost girls find a way. Lost girls. Songs that I feel like is like kind of 
doesn't get as much love as it should from my, you know, like every artist has certain songs that like they're, I know, I know you guys like that song. I'm not saying you don't, but I feel like that should have been like a favorite. I love Lost Girls. Um, same with Hold My Heart. I thought Hold My Heart was the best song with lyrics. I love that song. Yeah. I think it's the best like song song with lyrics with a singer that I've ever done. Um, and we tried to push it to radio and it just did not take at all. And yet songs I've liked way less have taken at radio. So it's just funny. Like, um, so yeah, I, and Hold My Heart Live is so fun. I just feel so sassy. I think I'll bring that back next time I go on tour. I'll find a way to bring it back. That was one of my favorites in 2018. Oh yeah, the art from the Evanescence tour, that one was fun with the magic and oh my gosh hair is falling all over the place well on that note um everyone thank you so much for joining us today again um type you can type exclamation bella to check out my new makeup all the proceeds go to charity also it's intentional makeup or it's intentional beauty because it's all about um bringing out inner beauty with intention so love that um check it out uh, you can also join our Discord, please, exclamation Discord. Please subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more streaming. I'm sorry I've been a little bit absent the last um, probably three weeks, maybe a month. Um, it's been been a busy time, but um, I love streaming. I love this community here. I hope to see you guys uh, more on here. <laughs> and uh, what else? Exclamation tour sure. to check out the Christmas dates. So, all, so many fun things. Also, stay tuned. <laughs> Exciting, exciting announcement coming next week that I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to tell you that there's a limited quantity available and I think it's going to be in high demand. So stay tuned for next Wednesday for a really exciting announcement of something I'm launching. Um, you heard it here first because I, I like to give you guys the spoiler so you get to be first on things. So stay tuned. Love you guys. <laughs>